HCF of 54, 60 and 62. To find the HCF, for that we should do the prime factorization of each number separately. What I mean is 54, 60, 62. This is your step 1. Next. In this number, last digit 4, E1, so take 2. First number 5. A number close to 5 in 2 table is 2, 2 is 4. 5 minus 4, 1, 1 carried forward 14. When do we get 14 in 2 table? 2, 7 is 14. Now 27 is 3, 9 is 27. 9 is 3, 3 is 9. 3 is a prime number, so 3, 1 is 3. Now the other number, last digit 0, so take 5. First number 6, a number close to 6 in 5 table is 5, 1 is 5. 6 minus 5, 1, 1 carried forward 10. When do we get 10 in 5 table? 5, 2 is 10. Now 12 is 2, 6, 12. 6 is 2, 3 is 6. 3 is a prime number, so 3, 1 is 3. Now the other number, last digit 2, E1, so take 2. First number 6, when do we get 6 in 2 table? 2, 3 is 6. The other number 2, when do we get 2 in 2 table? 2, 1 is 2. Now 31 is a prime number, so 31, 1 is 31. Therefore our HCF is, HCF is the product of the numbers which should be present in these three places that is here and here and also here so now we should find the numbers which are present here here and also here starting with the number 2 do we have 2 here yes so go to the next place do we have 2 here yes so cut 2 right here. Next number 3. Do we have 3 here? Yes. Go to the next place. Do we have 3 here? No. 3 is not present in all the 3 places. So we cannot write here. Next number 3. Do we have 3 here? Yes. But it is not present here. So we should not write here. Next number 3. Do we have 3 here? Yes. But 3 is not present here. So we should not write here. No more numbers have been left out. So we got only one number 2 present in all the 3 places. So 2 itself is our HCF.